All right, man, we back. Y'all see the title of the video, man. Don't ever play the victim. So things that I've learned about playing the victim is basically when you play the victim, you're under the belief that life is always happening to you. You know, it's never in your favor. You know, it's always stacked against you. Oh, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the system is against me and, and, you know, life just, you know, it ain't, it ain't going the way that I want it to. Like that's, that's how victims talk. Victims say things like that. And you can't have that mindset of life is happening to you. You have to flip it and make the statement life is happening for you. So it doesn't matter if something's good or bad. It doesn't matter what it is. You always figure out a way to make that thing or that situation. You always figure out a way to make it work in your favor, you know, because when you think that way, you don't get down on yourself. You don't let other people get down on themselves because a lot of the times when a person has a victim mentality, a lot of the times the people that they talk to on a regular basis or like their friends, they have the same mindset. But people don't realize uh, people don't realize the, the, the people like they don't realize the power of the, the people that they surround themselves with. You know what I'm saying? Because they usually whoever you surround yourself with, they usually uh, validate the way that you think and feel. You know, so when you're a victim, you usually hang around people that are victims too. life is happening to them. Things are never going their way. You know what I'm saying? Something's always wrong or something's always going wrong in their life. You don't want to be around people like that. You know what I'm saying? You definitely don't want to be that person because that shit is like to me at this point in my life, like being around people like that, like that shit is so draining. It's annoying, bro. Like, you don't want to be around people that are constantly letting life pull them down. You know what I'm saying? They're constantly under the belief that everything is stacked against them. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I understand it, you know, especially when you start to raise your consciousness, you start to kind of see things differently. But at the same time, you still got to remain positive and you still got to have the mindset that life is always happening for me. It's not happening to me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's going to take you a lot farther and it's going to take you up instead of pulling you back down. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't associate yourself with people that are victims. Don't ever play the victim. Like even even if there's a situation that's unfortunate, you figure out a way to take accountability and responsibility for your part that you played. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever be like, "Oh, you know, it was your fault." And it, no. Hell no. Don't ever do that. Always look at what you could have done better and take that with you in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we don't play the victim out here, man, especially especially as a man. Like to all my dudes out there that's watching this, if you're a dude, don't ever, ever identify as a victim, bro. You are never a victim. I mean, it, it's rare. You know what I'm saying? But it's like to me, everything is happening in my favor. Always, always. I don't care what it is. Like when I had to get like this car, the same car that I'm driving, I had to get my transmission replaced. Like my shit broke down and I took it to the shop. I had to get my transmission replaced. I paid like 1100 to get it fixed or whatever. I was out of a car for like, I didn't have it for like two weeks. Right. So I was uh, like my dad would pick me up from work and then I would Uber there. And like, yeah, I lost money um, going to and from work Ubering uh, and I had to pay the 1100 to get a new transmission, but I think it was well worth it because that gave me extra time to just talk with my dad. Like we would just be in the car. He would pick me up from work every day until I got my car fixed. That was time for me and my dad to just connect and like bond. You know what I'm saying? So like that $1,100, who gives a fuck? <laughs> it's just money. That shit ain't mine anyway. It's just $1,100, bro. And a couple 15, 20 here to Uber to get to work. But that shit was the time that I spent with my dad, he's not dead or nothing like that. I don't want, I don't want y'all make y'all think that he's gone. <laughs> but that time that I spent with my dad was fucking priceless. The, the conversations that we had, like, it was priceless, bro. That's the way you got to think. You got to think, okay, this thing happened. This this unfortunate thing happened. But what's the good? Where, where, where's the where's the, where's the the light? You know what I'm saying? Always look for that light. Don't ever play the victim and be focusing on the shadow. 
figure out where the fucking light is and go for that. So I'm going to end it there, man. Don't ever play the victim. Life is always happening for you. It's not happening to you. All right. So y'all take it easy, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. And we out of here. Peace.